Hi guys, so welcome back to this channel. Today we'll be talking about uh, C Limited, it's a company from Singapore. So uh, many people have been asking me about this particular company and why is it downtrending so much. Um, in today's video, I'll be talking more about the, the lessons learned from this, uh, this uptrend and a downtrend. And I have a total of uh, three lessons. So the first thing is, when a stock is on an uptrend, it is always wise to just ride the uptrend. You can take partial profits along the way. But the question is, when should you take into uh, to take these uh, partial profits? So the first thing is about learning how to sell into strength. What do I mean by selling into strength? So there are a few techniques. Uh, some of them are more accurate than the other, but you can take it as a, as a just an idea on how to do it. So the first thing first is to look at the clouds. In the event that the stock were to go too far away from the clouds, there's, there's an uh, example on when you should actually take your profits. So you can see that now here, the distance away from the cloud is relatively big. Likewise, looking at here, the distance away is also quite big. So there is one idea of when you can actually take your profits. But of course, some people might say, ah, this is hindsight. You never know that what happens if you take your profit and then it continues to go higher instead. Yes, I definitely agree. So there are other ways to actually look at the possible areas of distribution. So let's look at the weekly charts of this C Limited. If you look at the um, weekly charts, right? it's a lot easier to see compared to the daily charts. So the ideal situation is to let go or sell your stocks when you see large green candles. Why do I mean by that? Large green candles is an indication that the big players are on the verge of getting out. So for instance, you can see this. This is a large green candle and this is also a relatively large green candle. And this large green candle has to appear at the very top or something. So for instance, these two, right? These two are considered at the bottom. So why do I say when these large green candles is a good time to sell? So these big players, right, they tend to create large green candles so that um, retail investors will come in and FOMO because those people who have yet to bought at an earlier price, they want to get in and um, purchase this uh, particular stock at this price. And that's where the big players will be dumping or distributing to these small players. That's called selling into strength. But a more accurate way to confirm this um, profit staking is to look at the MACD. So let's head back to the daily charts of the MACD of this C Limited. Let's look at the MACD here. You can see that the MACD was very bullish all the way. It was uptrend all the way, even though there's many crisscrosses between the red and the blue line. So only when should you take profits is when the blue line goes above the orange line by too much and the distance away is too far. So immediately when it cut downwards into the orange line, that's the best time to take your profits, which is sometime here. Then you'll be asking me, so what happens if uh, you want to buy back? When should you buy back? And the thing here it is, you should buy back only when the thing crosses above the orange line. Likewise, in the event that it cuts down again, that's where you... Uh, clear your positions or you sell away. But if you're a long-term investor, you can just ride the uptrend all the way. But the question is, how will you know whether or not this will cut down at this particular time? And how you will know that this will cut up again? Why well, in the event that this thing can go all the way down? And then you start losing your momentum. So the question is, you look at the weekly charts. The weekly chart will give you a more clear idea about this, um, this manipulation. So let's take a look at the weekly charts. You can see that the MACD here is a lot easier to read. That's where the blue line is always above this orange line. And there is not much of a fear. The only fear comes about when we start breaking at this particular point. But you can see here that it actually went above. So if you were to sell here, which is somewhere here, and then you take your profits, you can always buy back here, which is somewhere here. You buy back and only sell when it starts to cut down. So these are the two particular points to cut down. So even though you can use the cloud um, or the candles to sell into strength, the more accurate way 
is to actually look at the MACD, which gives you a more uh, clear indication of when to actually take your profits and selling at a peak. So that's my first lesson from C Limited. The second lesson would be to avoid downtrending stocks. What do I mean by that? So when we are in a downtrending stock, it is very difficult to fight against the trend. Neither is it advisable to actually buy, to add, or even to average down or up. In fact, you shouldn't even be holding at all when the stock is downtrending. So for instance here, you can see that the blue line cut below the orange line and it never failed to recover ever since then. And the thing about this uh, C Limited is that it never had any rebounds from the way, from all the way at the top to the bottom. And that is something very fearful because when a stock were to downtrend and have no rebounds, that means the big players are just continuing selling and selling nonstop. And there is a very great fear there. So let's take a look at Alibaba, for instance. Let's compare with Alibaba. So if you look at Alibaba, you can see that when it's falling, right, there are rebounds, which you can see here, first rebound, and then there's also a second rebound here. These are called rebounds on the downtrend. But the problem we see is that there was no rebound at all. That's the fear. So when there's no rebound, that means the selling pressure is still there. The only possible rebound that actually took place was somewhere here because there was a cloud support. So it came to the cloud support, consolidated, but the selling pressure was too much and then it fell even more. That was around the level 200, about $200 uh, price levels. So the question here is, ideally, you shouldn't be buying, adding positions on a downtrending stock. Just think about it this way. If the big players have really cleared their positions, do you think it's possible for them to accumulate in such a short period of time and then drive prices up again? So the chances of it is very unlikely. So moving on to my third um, learning outcome from this uh, C Limited, it will be the speed of uptrend equates to the speed of downtrend. So what do I exactly mean by that? So how fast a particular stock were to go up? It will be a representation of how fast it comes down. So we can see that actually C went from about um, perhaps about $20 in 2020. And by the end of 2021, in a short period of about less than a one year or one and a half years, it went from $20 to about $370, which is a little crazy and probably overbought, if you were to say so. Coming back to my Alibaba example, you can see that Alibaba actually went up longer it took about two years or three years in fact to ride the uptrend and when it's on the way up yet um, pullbacks and then it went up again that is why the downtrend is slightly slower as compared to c limited and there are also rebounds so clearly you can see that for c limited it went up too fast and the question here is that what goes up must come down but what comes down may not necessarily go up. And it will be dependent on the big players. So let's take a look at the Fibonacci for C Limited. So starting from a low of $8, $10, all the way to high about $374. Let's look at the Fibonacci levels. The 30 61.8% did not hold at all. 50% did not hold at all. Even at this 38.2, the 149, 150 did not ever hold at all. The next level will be at 23.6, which is about $96, $94, $95, around that levels. And so far, we have not seen any uh, uh, accumulation. We have not seen any strong rebounds, or we have not seen any uh, potential reversals. So this is an indication of how strong a downtrend is. And we should never buy or never add to average down or average up. And definitely no holding at all. We only can buy if there's a accumulation by the big players. And you look at the MACD, coming back to the very good indicator of MACD, you only a buy in when the blue line cuts above the orange line convincingly. Not for instance like that, 
like that you will get trapped. So you have to wait for a period of time until the, the uh, blue line stays above the orange line and able to sustain it. And if you see that there's some accumulation here, uh, then there is an opportunity to buy in. Likewise, if you are afraid to look at just the uh, daily candles, you should also look at the weekly candles. So the weekly candles will give a more uh, better indication. You can see that if the blue line starts to go above the orange line, uh, then you know that the big players might be coming back to accumulate to push the stock higher. Other than that, there will only be rebounds and short-term rebounds and very small rebounds to trap more retails. That's why it's very, very dangerous. So that's all I have for this uh, C Limited, the three important lessons. First thing is to how to ride the uptrend and sell into strength. The second lesson would be avoid downtrending stocks. And the third lesson would be the speed of uptrend would equate to the speed of downtrend. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, in, if you feel that, uh, if you have any other comments, feel free to leave in the comment section down below. And if you have any particular company or stocks or any crypto that you want me to analyze, feel free to put it in the comment section. I will definitely help with the analyzing. So if there's nothing else, I'll see you guys in the next video.